Well then, I'm only a few days late, but finally I can unbox this thing. And do forgive the awkward angle. Um, space is a very limited luxury in my basement. As is many other things. Hint, hint. Uh, as an aside, after what I'm seeing of the Strixhaven spoilers, I'm honestly debating whether or not I'll do an unboxing of that as well. Never thought I'd say this, but the set of Discount Harry Potter actually has stuff that's enticing to me. Oh god, this is not going to open properly, is it? Nope, nope, I got it. I had it. Definitely had it. Now I got it, I think. Look at all that boostery goodness. I'll set that aside somewhere, somehow. And the first pack I'm going for will oddly have a sliver on it. The first card, Riddle of Lightning, targets, right, three, hmm. If not for the mana cost, I would have been enticed to use this in a Rakdos deck of mine. Spike Tail Dra Drakeling, I vaguely remember that from back in the day. Feebleness. That definitely feels like an old reprint. Something about that is strikingly familiar. Sentinel Wood Readers. Oh, well, I guess I can't complain about a creature with a kicker cost considering the bonus attached to it. Ancient Grudge. An old favorite. Armory Seekers, very interesting callback. I definitely recall the first card, Amru Kithken. Hint, hint. Rift Bolt, always love a good red spell. Aaron Doomsayers, mm. interesting. Luther Ilcor, may as well call it the better version of Merfolk Luther. Yes, I will go that far. Core Dirge. Hmm, I can dig it. Cryptic Anilid, Anilid, however you pronounce that. And that is a very sexy effect, considering it's a 4-drop. Hmm. Next card is an interesting one. Rough and Tumble. Hmm. Might be good and limited. The rare is Sarah Avenger. Eh. I kind of want to say I'd have a use for it, but might be wrong with that. The throwback card, Ancient Den. Love that old land border. Love that old artifact land. Love that old stuff in general. And the foil looks very nice. Why is my phone alarm going off? This is my own fault for not disabling it. Back to the foil card. 
Bethlehem Reveler. Let's see how that even shows up on cam. I probably should have been reviewing the cam as I was opening these packs. Zoom in. Ah, whatever. 3-1 for 8. Not using it. I don't care what it does. They can do my taxes, I wouldn't care. And my token, Metallic Slipper. I'm really hoping I'll get some Tron Jank somewhere in this box. Would save me a little effort. And Veiling Oddity. What does it do? I can barely even read all this. It's kind of... Eh. Nothing to write home about. Ooh. Simeon's Fairy Guide. I know that's kind of high up on the list. I should set that one aside specifically. Coral Trickster. Never was a fan of morph creatures, but I'll take what I can get. Salad Germinator. Definitely has that Fallen Empire's appeal to it. Dark Withering. I want to say that would be sexy and limited, but not at that mana cost. Oh, madness cost be damned, but I digress. Green Seeker. Love Spell Shapers, love the art. Big fan of Rebecca Gway's art. Suppose I should set that aside too. Ah, my first sliver. Sinew Sliver. I'd almost be tempted to build a Sinew EVH, but effort. Penumbra Spider. I can sort of dig it. I use it in an old deck of mine, which incidentally is mostly spiders. Judge Unworthy reminds me of some of the judges I encountered during my last GP. Suitable effect, I'll give it that. Strangling Suits. Pseudo removal, but I would not pay that flashback cost. I don't give a damn what the board state's looking like. Rebuff the Wicked. Interesting. White with a counter. I'll set that aside because I can. Dune Rider Outlaw. You don't see very many creatures with protection anymore. I'd like to think it still has a place in some deck, some archetype, who knows. Riptide Pilfer. Another sort of discount Merfolk looter. Wait, didn't I... I'm pretty sure I did open that up before, didn't I? No, I didn't. That was the shadowy creature. My rare is Reiterate, because I don't already have 12 of those. My throwback is Cranial Plating. Quick creature is plus one plus zero for each artifact. Hmm. Maybe in an affinity deck. You know, it would make sense. Uh, shoot, where am I throwing my... Oh, it's in the rare pile. And my token is a kobold. Not a kobold of care keep, mind you, just a kobold. Oh, got ten minutes in and I already rue how long this video is going to be. 
considering I know my commentary is dull as fuck. And Tolari and Sentinel. Hmm. I can dig it, I guess. Sting Scouser. That echo cost is a bit high. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I want to keep it, I absolutely have to. Uh, Slipstream Serpent. Slipstream Serpent can attack when player controls an island. I remember back in the day we used to call that Land Home. I don't think that keyword ever got past, like, Legends, maybe, as far as regular sets go. But I know 4th and 5th edition had a couple of cards like that. Grave Scrabbler. Never had sales, man. It's not paid. Hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Nuntaku Shaman. It's just a battlefield. You control no tap lines, draw a card. Bad chance of that. Especially on turn three to five, I'm sure. Infiltrator Ilkor. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to start building a shadow deck if I open enough jank. Rift Elemental. That is not too bad. Even for a one drop. Yeah, another sliver. Limp sliver. What the hell does absorb do? If a source would deal damage to a sliver, prevent one of that damage, that is not bad. That'd be especially drastic in the sliver deck. Trespasser Ilvec. Another card, Trespasser means shadow. For a 3 1, I can take that. Pallid Mycoderm. Mycoderm? No, Mycoderm. Uh, hmm. More sapling nonsense. Didn't care for it back in the day. Didn't care, don't care for it now. Shivan Meteor. Because all this trouble just to deal 13 to a creature. I guess trying to do that to a player would be out of line. It's less broken. Harmonize. Because everyone loves harmony. Yeah. Poultice Sliver. I suppose it's better than Poutine Sliver. Yes, yes, I know. I should be dragged out to the back and shot for that joke. My rare is Heartward Storyteller. Whenever a player casts a non-creature spell, each of the players... That's fine. I guess. My throwback is... I don't know how the fuck you pronounce this guy's name. And why did I just put my rare in the comments pile? My token is a very nice piece of goblin art. Not quite that old school appeal, but it's decent for the aesthetics that I like. Mutation. Something about this rings a vague bell to me. And at the same time, I don't know why, I'm thinking of Unstable Mutation, which was a drastically different card. Needle Peak Spider. A red spider? That's interesting. Think twice. 
Mm -hmm. Typical blue. Kavu Primarch. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, at least, at least you get a lot for that kicker cost, so I'll give it that. Urborg Siphon Mage, because this is a spell shaper I never used. And I probably should have at some point. Ooh. Utabi Drake. This feels like a very nice callback to Mirage and Visions. And I think Weatherlight? I can't be too sure on that. Dreamscape Artist. To our card, sack of land. Search your library for up to two basic lands. That is outright dastardly and limited, I'm sure. Joyra's Time Bug. Hmm? Can't complain. I mean, it's a utility card. Sunlance. The one and only time White ever had a burn spell. I want to set that aside because I can. Maybe I can come up with some fuckery with that. Giant Dubstep, and I mean by that, Giant Dust Wasp. <laughs> eh. Paying all that mana and nothing spectacular. Harmonic Sliver, because why not? More Harmony. Oh, it's Battlefield's short target. Ooh. So it turns slivers into walking naturalizes, disenchants, whatever you want to call them. Faceless Devourer. I remember cards from the. What was it? Judgment? Torment? One of those two sets that had a lot of cards like this, and I very much enjoyed them. Stormcloud Jin. Nothing I deem spectacular. The rare is Rada, Heir to Keld. That. Well, I can't complain for the effects, even if it is legendary. And only two mana. My throwback is Tal Run, Sky Summoner. Never did have a use for this guy way back when. And interesting look for a sapling token. I never did look at old sapling tokens, but this was not exactly how I imagined to be way back when. <laughs> of course, at like 12, 13 years old, I had a more colorful imagination. Coral Trickster, nobody cares. Coal Soaker, whenever it's the battlefield. Like a red dark ritual. I guess you can tolerate that. Dream Stalker. Eh. Assassinate. A very cool card because it has two asses in its name. Search for tomorrow. Search for basic land. Hmm. Always do love a good land fetch spell. Reckless worm. Four four trampler for five. Madden's three. It's well rounded. I'll give it that. Seal of Primordium. That was from uh, Mercadian Mass, I think. Well, maybe not this specific card, but a lot of the seals were. Armru Scout, we saw that before. Bound in Silence for the discerning player into BDSM. Ecor Slick. 
Sorry, quick hits my Superman 3. Cycling and Madness. I gotta admit, that's for a good utility. Delay. What does it do? I can barely read all this jank. Target stun. Hmm. Suitable, I guess. Might sliver. Because why the hell not? Let's give him one plus two plus two. And Dusk Rider Peregrine Peregrine Eh it, Wait, how much six mana? Eh I'll suspend it. Woohoo This is nice. Dryad Arbor as my rare. And a young pyromancer as my throwback. Hmm. A semi spicy pack, I suppose. Another goblin token, because why the fuck not? And the funny thing is that I never use tokens. Not a fan. Not a fan. I don't know why, just. Call me being set my old ways, I suppose. Another Cold Soaker. Another Dream Stalker. Apparently somebody's stalking me now. Another Search for Tomorrow. Another Assassinate. Can I get something not unique in this? Can I get something unique in this pack, rather? There we go, Edge of Autumn. Control 4 if you're land, search your library for basic land. Eh. I can dig it. Gotham Raiders, and by that I mean Gathan Raiders. Oh, the Morph Gloss is pretty interesting. Par for the course with that card. Psychotic episode. Sounds like me after a day off from work. Hmm. Not bad. Another pallid mycoderm. Another giant dubstep. Molten Slag Keep. Aha! Uh -huh, a storage land. A very nice. Riftmark Knight. And. Take some. Oh! Hmm. That's cheeky. Fury Sliver, all slivers gain double strike, that is, considering the mana cost, that is pretty damn beefy. Ordinarily, I wouldn't go pay more than 5 for a creature. And the rare is Sengir Nosferatu. Very Dracula-esque aesthetic. Perhaps I'll go and open the token at some point. And the throwback is Exquisite Firecraft. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I heard this card before. What was it a reprint from? Magic Origins, maybe. My foil would be... Castle Raptors, because... At 5 mana, you're clearly not sparing any expense. And a soldier token. A very good looking soldier token at that. Better than some of the stuff I've seen in years past. Ooh. Slippery pack, it's slippery. Can 
Tilden Halberdier. Halberdier? Halberder? Hamburger. 4 1 first strike. May as well be a Kelden Hamburger then. Logic Knot. Mm -mm. Typical of Blues fuckery. Battering Sliver. Another Cavu Primark. Another Urborg Siphon Mage. Another Uktabi Drake. But incidentally, I kind of do want to build around that. Temporal Isolation. Oh. That's interesting. Prismatic Lens. I could have swore I needed this for something. Damned if I can remember what. Avon Rift Washer. Watcher. Whatever. Yeah, not very fond of the whole vanishing thing. Gemhide Sliver, I'm very into the mana ramping aspect. Primal Force Mage, whenever another creature is a battlefield, plus three plus three, that's decent. Mystical Teaching, search your library for an instant, recover from a flash. Eh. Might be good and limited, I guess that's about it. Smallpox. Very fitting for the current events of the world, in a way. Ooh, and a mythic rare this time. Wheel of Fate. Hmm. And my throwback is... Wow, look how deep the ink is on that. Zulport Cutthroat. I honestly cannot get over how deep the ink is on this old border. Kind of sort of is like old times. And my token is an assembly worker. And lately that's been crossing my mind because I kind of want to build a giant deck centering around assembly workers. I know somewhere around I have a set of Mithras factories lying around. Keyword being somewhere. Mog Work Marshal. Well, it was a good goblin then and it's got to be pretty decent now I'm sure. Drifter Eldal, another shadowy creature at the beginning of your upkeep sacrifice unless you pay one. Oh my god, are you serious? I gotta pay the one each upkeep. Fine. I'll deal with that. Mind Stab, which I'm pretty sure is a throwback to an old creature called Mind Stab Throw. Because similar effects, the only difference is that it has to attack unblocked, or deal combat damage unblocked, rather. Virulent Sliver. I was hoping I would open this. And right under it, under it Sidewinder Sliver. Hm. I think the forces at work are trying to tell me something. Other Sunlance. Set that side. Another Joyrus Time Bug. Another Dreamscape Artist. And Fortify. Hmm. That would be a great two of in any format, I imagine. 
Might of Old Crosa. Oh, one of those spells. Another storage land. Salt crusted steps. Hmm. Selesnia colors. It's, I guess I could tolerate such a thing. Thick skin goblin. Because it's easier just to say he's fat. And the rare was Fungus Sliver. Three slivers in one pack, that's pretty interesting. Whenever this creature is dealt damage, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Nice. Throwback is Zealous Conscripts. Over to the battlefield, control target opponent. Oh, so it's an act of treason when it comes into play. Oh, for five mana, I better do some amazing stuff. With a foil snapback. You may exile a blue card from your hand rather than pay its cost. Bounce back creature. Hmm. Oh, that, it's suitable, I'll give it that. An insect token? I gotta wonder what makes this, considering it's very specifically a sex one with shroud. Hmm. Riddle with lightning. I could have swore I opened one of these earlier. Goes to show how good my short term memory is. Spike tail drakeling. I'm pretty sure we opened that earlier. Feebleness. Know for a fact we opened earlier. Edge of autumn. Opened. Blade of the Six Pride. They just say Vanilla 3 1. Errant Ephiramon. Either way, it's a 7 cost thing that I would never use. White Mane Lion. 2-2 two, two with Flash, that's suitable. Children of Corliss. Sack it, gain life equal to the amount of life you lost this turn. The poor man's reset button. Trespasser Ilvec, seen it. Saltfield Recluse, haven't seen it. Hmm. Moderate effect. Nightshade Assassin. A very cool guy because he obviously sports two asses. You can even see an after image in the art. Actually, you see two after images in the art, so he has six asses. No, three asses. Where did I learn to count? Sulfur Elemental. White creatures gain plus one, minus one. <sighs> and before somebody call, cries racism over that, because you know people like that exist. Doomstalker. A very nice Dover creature. The throwback is... Molten Rain. Sweet target land. Hmm. You really don't see much land destruction these days. With a foil virulent sliver, because I definitely want to set that aside. Actually, that is not the set aside pile. Why is my alarm going off again? <sighs> God, and the thing I can't even edit that out post production. And my token is the bat that goes with Singir Nasratu. Oh, nice to actually open the thing. Oh, 
Oh my god, we're not even halfway through the box, I don't think. Slowly getting there, I think. Snap back. Pretty sure we opened that earlier. Two headed sliver. All slivers game on us. Nice. Think twice. Opened. Rigid. Cousite? Cousite? I'm sure they mean Cousite. Because why not play on words with parasites? Thalid Shell Dweller. I almost want to say Swell Deller. Ugh, it was too early to be this sober. Another Errant Ephemeron. Another White Main Lion. Another Gotham Raiders. Momentary Blink. I could have swore we opened that earlier. I could be wrong there. Massive Ghouls. Because of Vanilla 5, 3 for 5. Why the hell not? Knight of the Flying Nimbus. 2-2 two, two of Flanking. Regenerates when it gets destroyed. Nice. That's provided if an opponent doesn't pay this activated ability. Hmm. Ah, Conflagrate. Because I haven't seen an X spell in quite a number of years. Lana War Mentor. Oh, so that makes Lana War Elf tokens. The rare is Glittering Wish. Because anybody that knows me knows that I don't play with a sideboard usually. Fundamentally useless. Throwback card is Vandal Blast. Also useless. Another Cobalt token. Ah, another Simeon Spirit Guide. I wonder how much these things are going for now, anyway. Gossamer Phantasm. Kind of like these illusions, except they're such glass cannons. Skirk Shaman. Can't be blocked except by artifact creatures or red creatures. Hmm. Another Green Seeker. Was I setting that aside? Yes, I was. Another Search for Tomorrow. Another Assassinate. Another, another Ecor Slick. Luther Ill Core. Could have swore we opened one of those earlier. Another Amru Scout. Dead and Gone. We did not open this before. Hmm. I wonder. Brian Elemental, because why not? I think I'd rather just play it as a 2 2 and end it at that. Premature Burial. Hmm. Oddly specific, but I can dig it. Stormfront Raiders. Hmm. 
Ooh. The rare is Ith High Arcanist. And considering my love for the spell The Dark, more for the story than the actual spells, this appeals to me. Granted, the effect is ass, but I digress. The throwback is Mystic Sanctuary. Hmm. I can't say I really care for the effect entirely much, but I do love that old land border. Separling, because these things grow like weeds. Never mind, they look like moss. I guess we'll call them mossy weeds. If that makes any sense. I am not a botanist. Homing Sliver. Hmm. I could have swore there was another one of those with Sliver Cycling. I have to look through one of my old decks. Primal Plasma. Ah, one of those. And by one of those, I mean for once, one of those cards I'm actually enticed by. Empty the Warrens. The last time I saw this card was pretty much in Fallen Empires. Rigid Kusite. Saw that. Thalid Shell Dweller. Saw that. Numerous Spider. Nobody cares. Judge Unworthy. Nobody cares. Strangling Suit. I sort of care a little. Ancient Grudge. Amru Seekers. I'm pretty sure it's my third one by now. Return to Dust. Huh. I think the last time I saw this was in 5th edition. Imperiosaur. Spend only mana produced by basic lamps to cast this spell. Okay, fine. We'll limit my resources, why don't you? Arcblade. Two minutes, sorry. Creature, exile, Hmm. The rare is. Joyra of the Gitu. I always wanted to use her. I imagine she'd be a very good commander. The throwback is Quasley Pride Mage. What's so special about this? Two, two for two. Exalted. One sack to naturalize. Fair enough. Finally, a different token. A spider. Holy crap, these things are troublesome to open. Hmm. Primal Plasma. Go like that. Empty the Warrens. Cavu Primark. Mindstab. Thalid Shell Dweller. <laughs> Castle Raptors. Hmm, finally something a little more unique. Phasm Seer. Avon Rift Watcher. Hmm. Terramorph Expanse. Always a favorite. Are you kidding me? 
<sighs> I waited this long to record and I'm still facing numerous interruptions. Firewake Sliver. Wait, what does that do? Also, just have haste. Um, ah. Hmm. Very fitting for. The. Uh, shoot, what's that color combination again? Gruel. Very fitting for Gruel. Skittering Monstrosity. Eh, if not for that effect. If not for that effect, I would actually love to use it. Calciform Pools. And Azorius Storage Land. Oh, -ho, this is a fabulous rare. Pipestone. You control our slivers in addition to their other types. Why did I put a common in my rare pile? And Yogmoth Thran Physician. Hmm. The foil is brute force. With an insect token. I still want to know what makes these specific insect tokens. Kind of surprising I didn't open it yet. Or maybe my blind ass just didn't see it. Needles, Needle Peak Spider. I know for a fact we saw that already. Talarian Sentinel. Sting Scourger. Did we open that before? I get the feeling we did. Ah, Pit Keeper. Eh. Yeah, and the back of the creature token of this pack feels oddly weird. Thornwield Archer. Archer. Mm. For two mana, that's honestly not bad, especially in limited. Death Spore Thalid. I really don't care about Thalids. Shade of Trork Hair. Hmm. Kind of shady. Reckless Worm. Yeah, open that. Seal of Primordium. And, and there's my fourth Armory Scout. Might of all Croja. Croza. Pretty sure it's Croza. Salt Crested Step. Haze of Rage. Eh. I don't know if I ever bother paying the buyback cost on. Holy shit. Ho ho. The rare. Gemstone Caverns. I remember wanting that for something like 10 years back and never got it. The throwback is Banishing Light. I can dig it. I love effects like this. Yet another Goblin Token. I let's see how far along this box is. Wow, not even at the halfway point. And I got cards falling over. Yeah, that would be my luck. Pardon the not so te technical difficulties. Probably could sound and make another pile for all the commons and uncommons.
it would help if they would stop slipping and sliding around. Then again, it would also help if I had, if I had an adequate place for videos like this. First time I ever bothered doing an unboxing, and who says this won't be the last? Okay, onward. Yeah, you know, I'm just gonna read off cards that we've already seen before, so I don't waste time. Coral Trickster. Hmm, Grinning Ignis. Hmm. I wonder what sort of functional use that would have. Dream Stalker. Edge of Autumn. Feebleness. Sentinel Wood Readers. Aaron to Pheromon. White Mane Lion. Gotham Raiders. Momentary Blink. There's a new one finally. Minions Murmurs. Drax Cards with X Life. Or... Mm. I guess I can dig it. Brian Elemental. Harmonize. The rare is Coalition Relic. Hmm. The throwback is Knight of the Reliquary. Hmm. Hmm. That's not too bad. And with the spider token. I wonder if I can even risk piling stuff like this again. Knock on wood. Reality Acid. Because even mages on planes far, far away like to do acid. Bone Splitter Sliver. Deep Cavern Imp. Did we open this? I feel like we opened this. Utopia Vow. Sangrophage. I remember this specifically for the art, but not so much the effects or the creature stats. Children of Corliss, Trespasser, Ilvec, Momentary Blink. Hmm, that's a new one. Sporolith Ancient. Do I dare try building a deck around Sapphorns now? It seems like I have enough jank for it. Crosian Grip. Okay, so it's a naturalized with extra steps. Salt Blast. Because most players are salty in general. Bonded Fetch. Hmm. Oh, -ho, this is a nice rare, or a mythic rather. Damnation. Because I can always use a reprint of that. The throwback is Solemn Simulacrum. Eh, I remember not thinking very highly of this card way back when. And a foil coalition relic with a goblin token. Holy crap, I can't believe this video is almost gone on for an hour. 
Uh, empty the Warrens. Spike Tail Drakeling. Brute Force. Mind Stab. Beryllian Sliver. Pit Keeper. Prismatic Lens. Bound in Silence. Seal of Primordium. Castle Raptors. There's something we haven't seen. Utopia Micron. Micon. A Muck Drub. I feel like she's... Eh. You really don't see too many effects like that, and I'm sure for good reason. Thick Skin Goblin. The rare is... Venser Shaper Savant. And the throwback is Reclamation Sage. Finally, a new token. A Griffin. First name Peter. Another Reality Acid, Bone Splitter, sh Bone Splitter Sliver, try saying that three times fast, Sangrophage, Reflex Sliver, I'm pretty sure we didn't see before, interesting for the Green Sliver to give all Slivers haste, Deep Cavern Imp, Sidewinder Sliver, I get Flanking, Orcish Cannonade, eh, I mean, sure, at least you get to draw a card, Psychotic Episode, aha, Chromatic Star, finally I get some friggin' Tron Jank I can use. It only took nearly half the box. Joda's Avenger. Again, a reference to the dark. Sort of. And Street Wraith. 3 4 Swamp Walk for 5 with cycling. Mycologist. Did we open? No, we didn't open that, I don't think. Oh, God, how the hell do I even pronounce this? My rare is... Moraganda Petroglyphs. Vanilla creatures get plus two, plus two. Interesting way to justify their existence. My throwback is Beast Whisperer. Hmm. Ah, with a foil Prodigal Pyromancer. In other words, a red tin. I like the way how the foiling is reflecting off his fiery eyes, though. Like, if the light can hit it just right. Hmm, close enough. And a Cloud Sprite token. Again, I'm wondering what creatures are building, are making tokens that are specifically other creatures. As far as I can see, I haven't opened any of them yet. Or, you know, I'm just blind as hell. Another Mogwar Marshal. Drifter Eldal, Needle Peak Spider, Grave Scrabbler, Sentinel Wood Readers, finally something new. Corpulent Corpse, because again, we can't just call him fat. And God forbid, yeah, Fat Shame a Zombie. Castle Raptors, Fathom, Fathom Seer. Terramorphic Expanse, Temporal Isolation, 
the salt gargoyle. Hmm. Stronghold rats. That's interesting. I've never seen rats with shadow before. And with a discard effect of that, that's well worth the 3 CMC. Ooh, this is spicy. Necrotic Sliver. And another split card. Is that my rare? Yes, it is. Oh, no, we did open this up before. Boom and Bust. Or did we? No, we did not. Oh, then. Boom and Bust. And the throwback is a Master of Pearl, Pearl Trident. Imagine my shock there. Another Sapperling token. Yeah, I'm slowly getting to the bottom of the box, I guess. Huh. I didn't know they reprinted Grape Shot, but here it is. Hmm. Always wanted to try my hand with Storm decks, but let's see. Erratic Mutation, Will of Lightning, Sangrophage, Reflex Sliver, Deep Cavern Imp, Dead and Gone. Yeah, we did open that before. Benelish Calvary. Can't complain for what it is. Wrathy Trapper. Have you thinking of something else for a moment? Not even magic related at that. Rift Elemental. Wait, did we open that? We might have. I don't remember. Gaia's Anthem. Oh, always love Anthem effects. Avon Mind Sensor. Does that sucker does a whole lot for three and I ain't complaining. Steven Sound Sand Mage. Ah, interesting rare. Pulmonic Sliver. And my throwback, I can barely read this. Stonehorn Dignitary. Will this zoom in? Please zoom in. And another insect token. Let me see if I can at least empty out the box. Yeah. Oi, and I still have a stack as it is. But in the least I have a home for the commons and uncommons. And until I can get better storage, I'm thinking I should do that later today actually. I kind of do want to run out anyway. Really? Uh, Tolarian Sentinel, we've seen that, I'm pretty sure. Sting Scourger, Filler and Sliver, and now I know I at least have four of them. That's for Thalid. Did we see this? I honestly don't remember. And this takes forever to zoom. Thornwheeled Archer, Momentary Blink. 
Sparleth Ancient, Watcher Sliver, Massive Ghouls, Urza's Factory, well, that's interesting. Well, in the least I got something that can use the Assembly Worker tokens. Time Bender. Stone Cloaker. The rare is Caravec the Merciless. A character from definitely Mirage, I think Visions as well. I never did read up on that stuff. The throwback is Felden of the Third Path. And a foil spore sour thalad. Can you keep a spore counter each funds you control? Hmm. Not bad. And a spire token. Yeah, perhaps the next time I do such a video, I'll just limit it to just the the rares and foils and all that. Piracy charm. Because, incidentally, I am a pirate. Homing sliver, I know we opened that already. Reality acid. Salad germinator. I don't recall if we opened that though. Deadly Grub. Well, in the least, it's nice to have something I could show off for a little bit. Strength in numbers. Sporlop Ancient. Knight of Cersei. And Lisa has some pretty interesting art. Flying, flanking, and suspend for four and the two two. Not bad. Watcher Sliver. Infiltrator Ill Core. Celestial Crusader. That's interesting. A creature with flash and split seconds. A good way to say screw you, the blue players, I'm sure. Phantom Worm. Oh, I remember this subtype of creatures now. Another throwback from Judgment specifically, I believe. Dark Heart Sliver. Ooh, that's a spicy rare. Pact of Negation. And the throwback is... Nature's Charm. So, for, again, like a disenchant, naturalize, whatever, with extra steps. But the extra step, extra step is beneficial. Another Cloud Sprite token. Hmm, yeah, we've seen this before. Gossamer Phantasm. Slipstream Serpent. Kirk Shaman, Pitkeeper, Green Seeker, I remember I was setting those aside for reasons. Prismatic Lens, Avon Rift Watcher, Gemhide Sliver, Dead and Gone, 
fire wake sliver, scattering monstrosity, really wish I could use that, calciform pools, the rare is stuffy doll, numerous uses, very good utility, and apparently a very good combo that can EDH depending who you talk to. The throwback is Farseek, a card that I've very much been fond of and yet could never use in my five colored deck because, spoiler alert, it's heavy on the green. And the foil corpulent corpse, because again, we're not fat shaming zombies here. And the Goblin Token. Bone Splitter Sliver. Who the fuck named that like that? Veiling Oddity. We did not open this up before. Or maybe we did. Something about the art is starting to look a little familiar. Another Simeon Spirit Guide. I probably should be setting those aside. I gotta go digging through the other pile anyway. Oh, no, 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 I did. I set aside one, apparently. I thought we opened another. Hmm. Dark Weathering. In other words, a card I would not use in my right mind. Not even Unlimited. Thrill Up the Hunt. Send you sliver. Number spider. Nobody cares. Ivory giant. Number in battlefield. Tap all nine my creatures. Hmm. Well, for either that mana cost or that suspend cost, that's decent. Strangling suit. Bewilder. Ah, and there it is. A black card called Enslave. Eh, I can see people raising their pitchforks about this already. Careful consideration. Meh. Dark Heart Sliver. Actually, I did show that off before, didn't I? Well, we can see it again. The rare is Greater Gargadon. Uh, I kind of like it, but it is a bit of a tricky thing to run. And the throwback is Arch of Orska. Uh, I got no comments. With a metallic sliver token. Oh, here's one we haven't seen before. Sarcomite Myrrh. Grinning Ignis, Primal Plasma, hmm, Blight Speaker, the heck, I can't even talk, Blight Speaker, because obviously my speaking ability isn't up to par, oh my god, why won't you zoom? Yeah, don't tell me you need a better cam now. Evolution Charm. Gorgon Recluse. Which looks oddly familiar. Is that what I think it is? Hmm, probably is. I don't even know what I'm thinking right now. Infiltrator Ilkor. 
Knight of Cersei, Limp Sliver, Gohan Raiders, Enslave, Ship and Sand Mage, Pongify, Ooh, and a very nice rare, Acroma's Memorial. And a throwback card that I also needed for my Tron Jank. Ancient Stirrings. And finally, a Llanowar Elf token. Well, in the least, I'd like to say I'm getting some good value out of this box. Not that that was my primary objective. Gossamer Phantasm, Skirk Shaman, Assassinate, Search for Tomorrow, Rift Elemental, Lymph Sliver, Trespasser Elvec, Pallid Mycoderm, Dreamscape Artist, Crosian Grip, Bonded Fetch. So, finally, something new for this pack. Clockwork Hydra. And the rare isn't too bad. Magus of the Moon. So, pretty much a walking blood moon. Why won't you zoom in? Why you hurt me like this? The throwback card is Read the Bones. See? Read the Bones. Read the card. Read the Bones. Toss the card. And a foil Big Boy Swag Tusk. Everyone loves Swag Tusk. Sapperling token that I'm probably not going to use, although I'm very steadily changing my mind on the issue. All the stuff I got piled up, I can probably build about three or four jank decks. Gossamer Phantasm. Slipstream Serpent. Skirk Shaman. Glass is Falling, Utopia Vow, Lightspeaker, Evolution Charm, Orcish Cannonade, Dirk Word Ballast, Manatize. Manatize, didn't we open one of these up before? Let's see, no we didn't. But I will set this aside regardless. Another chromatic star. Obviously need that. Trump domains. Merc Drub. Sudden Shock. Huh? Another sexy rare. Lotus Bloom. Hmm. I know I need at least one more of these. And my throwback is a common Elvish Mystic. Why would you do this to me? And my token is a 3-3 Ape. Goes perfect with Pongify. Yeah, we're sorta in the home stretch, I guess. Piracy Charm. Battering Sliver. 
Snapback, Foul Germinator, Deadly Grub, Strength in Numbers, Rift Bolt, Aaron Doomsayers. I don't think I showed that one off, and why the hell did my phone go off just now? And it's not zooming in. Basically, tap, target, target. Tap target creature with toughness two or less. Luther Ilcor, yes, we opened that. Shade of Trocare, Minions Murmurs, another Tromp the Domains, Sudden Shock. Ooh, the rare is Walk the Aeons. Walk the Aeons. Come on, zoom in. You can do it, buddy. Ah, and my throwback is Waste. Now, I would be a little salty about this, but seeing Waste in the old basic land border, that's actually kind of sexy. Another Land War Elf token. Sarkamite Myr, Grinning Ingus, Grace Scrabbler, Nantaku Shaman, Bound in Silence, pretty sure it was like my fifth or my sixth E course lick, Castle Raptors, Fathom Seer, Terra Morph, Ah, finally a new thing. Dormant Sliver. I don't know if it really has any functional use per se. Yeah. Oh, you know, you do get to draw a card when the Sliver comes into play, but giving them all the Fender, really? Ah. Yavanea Dryad? Again, I'm going to set that aside just because of the art. Hmm. The effect is decent too, I'll give it that. Char Rumbler. Sounds like my stomach after a night of drinking. The rare is... Mangara of Corunder, Corunder, however you pronounce that. Uh, I don't know. The throwback is Mortify. And a foil pulmonic sliver. Kind of hard to get the light to catch them, catch these foils just right, or at least block it out so I can show them. With a sapling token, yeah, I should probably go buying a box just for tokens now. I know we got a couple laying around from gift sets that I shouldn't be throwing away. Brute force. Bailing Oddity, Simeon Spirit Guide, got the thing that aside, Dark Withering, Thrill of the Hunt, Fortify, Dark Ward Balath, Quick Claw Transmuter. That should make for some interesting fuckery. Manatide, I'm pretty sure. Yes, I was saying those aside. Tendrils of Corruption. Ooh, this gives me an idea. Granted, I need three more of them. 
Celestial Crusader. Oh, yes, we did show this off. Oh, it's worth showing off again. Pendlehaven Elder. Cautery Sliver. Eh. Not a huge fan. The rare is, once my glasses stop falling off, Draining Welk. Hmm. Counter Turret's fine. Oh. And the throwback is... Tide Hollow Sculler. Hmm, I know I've seen this before. Just trying to remember where. Maybe in a, an old dual deck, I can't be too sure. And took this long to see a new token. 4-4 four, four Giant. Primal plas Plasma, yes. For C. And considering the way how that art was, I see what they did there. I am not ashamed of that pun either. Gorgon Recluse. Spinneret Sliver. Kind of makes sense that they all have reach. Cutthroat Ildal. Hmm. That's cute. Claw Transmuter. I know I showed it off already, but... Blade of the Six Pride. And there's my second Tense of Corruption. Probably should be setting that aside too. Children of Corliss, Spellburst, because how long has it been since we've seen a blue X spell? What's this one with buyback? That's interesting. Hmm, Chalcederm. Hmm, Paradise Plume. Hmm. hmm, that could maybe see some use in my goat deck. I gotta double check that. Yeah, the rare is Magus of the Future. Hmm. That's not too bad. And the throwback is Leveler. I'm never going to use this. Not going to lie. A little too circumstantial for my taste. With a foil bone splitter sliver. And the Griffin token. And... Two-headed sliver, sarcomite myrrh, finally a second grape shot, gorgon recluse, spinneret sliver, cutthroat little dow, bewilder, ivory giant, wrathy trapper, sinew sliver, haze of Rage. Hmm, big game hunter. Because he's big. Likes games. He obviously has two asses. And he hunts. Hmm, Rift wing cloud skates. 
can't see that being of much use to anything that I run, even jank. And the rare is Angel's Grace. I imagine somebody out there must want this for one reason or another. The throwback Anger of the Gods. Hmm, I could use this. And an assembly worker token. And very clearly running out of space here. over I'm gonna be very upset Cold Stoker Logic Nut Mog War Marshal Light Speaker Evolution Charm Adam Seer, Avon Rithwatcher, Terramorph, Benelish Calvary, Temporal Isolation. Hmm, did we see this? I don't think we saw this. Rough and Tumble. Or maybe we did see it. Paltry Sliver. Hmm. Meyer Boa. Hmm. About a decade ago, a friend of mine favored these odd cards like this. Weird to have a thing for snakes, but I'm not one to judge much. The rare is Set Sliver. And the throwback is Mystic Confluence. Hmm. That's not too bad. And a Night Token, a very specific one. Pro White, Haste, Flanking. It's quite the cocktail. Oh, finally getting to the tail end. Piracy Charm. Battering Sliver. Thrill of the Hunt. Corpulent Corpse. Because I'm still not going to fat shame zombies. Venelish Calvary, Temporal Isolation, didn't they open up like 60 of these in this box so far or something? Bewilder, Ivory Giant, Wrathy Trapper, Sheevan Meteor, Core Dirge, I'm pretty sure I didn't open this before. Oh, I did not. And I could probably find a use for this. Maybe. Cryptic Analyd. Ooh, these are spicy. The rare. Jaya Ballard, Task Mage. So, a planeswalker without actually being a planeswalker, so to speak. And the throwback, True Name Nemes Nemesis. Yeah, it's a shame to only have one in this whole entire pile. And a foil Thornwheeled Archer. Hmm, if I can get one more of these, I wouldn't mind just building something around them. 
and a cloud sprite token. Second to last pack. Drifter Ildao. Keldon Halberger. Hamburger. Ambergi. Poor C. Ah, and my prayers were answered. I got my fourth Thornwield Archer. archer. Deathspore Thalid. Utopia Vow, Mass of Ghouls, Sporloth Ancient, Knight of Cersei, Watcher Sliver, finally something new. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Fistus? Fetisus? Fetusus? Fuck it, I'm calling Petunia. Destroy target creature, its controls, life equals the number of... Hmm. That's interesting. Hmm. Storm Entity? Eh. Typical is it nonsense? Scrib Ranger. Or we can just call it Scrub Ranger. The rare is Nether Trader. Hmm. That's actually not bad. I can find a home for that real easy. The throwback is Shriek Maw. I vaguely remember this from back in the day. And I think one of my own mates even used it against me at a couple of points. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. I remember who screwed me over with such a card, and I'm sure he'd be delighted to have hold of that again. With a Lanwar Elf token. And last pack. Let's hope for something juicy. Hope for something sexy. Because I just noticed I didn't open one planeswalker in this, and I could have swore to set this happen at least two of them. Snapback. Brute Force. Reflex, reflex Sliver. Strength in Numbers. Deadly Grub, Watch for Sliver, Massive Ghouls, Infiltrator Ill Core, Knight of Cersei, Limp Sliver, Riftwing Cloud Skate, Mire Boa, Big Game Hunter, and the rare, not a bad one at all. Life and limb. Kind of got to build around it, but that's the same could be said for a lot of cards. And the throwback, Thraben Inspector, Inspector, Thraben Inspector, whatever. So he's going to give me a clue. And they have one final sapling token. Oh my god. Well, that's a brilliant way to end off the video. So, depending on how things go, I might just do an unboxing of Strixhaven, like I said. But I'll limit it to just the good stuff or the and the interesting stuff and I suppose any stupid jokes and commentary I can throw into things oh like we say around my way may your mana be abundant your bacon crunchy and your red spells toasty